Everyone's first fight against Thorn is usually met by confusion, as is their second, third, fourth, and even fifth. Ow, what hit me? Whilst you eventually get some sort of idea on how to win the fight, the exact mechanics of the fight are still going to be confusing, and you're going to get insta-killed several times if you don't know what you're doing. Free, stop f***ing dying, your one job is to put down orbs. And that's why you're watching this video right now, so you can get to know what you're doing. You know, it's not a Hellcastle and Furry E-Boy video if we don't beg you to subscribe, so please go do that if you haven't already. Anyways, so the basics of the fight are simple. You're in an arena, there's a guest who's vegan, there's a whole crowd of dungeon enemies, and then suddenly, animals. A lot of animals. What do each of these animals do? The spirit bulls spawn from cannons and have very high health. They will never target the healer, but will go after every other player and have strong knockback. Spirit rabbits spawn from the corners of the arena and are the lowest health of any mob. They will target any player nearby and will knock a player into the air, as well as dealing considerable damage. Spirit chickens will occasionally spawn from the roof and fall down to the ground, choosing a random player to follow. Once they reach the ground, they become chicken landmines which launch players into the air as well as dealing massive damage if you aren't careful. Avoid the landmines long enough and they will eventually disappear. Spirit wolves spawn from each side and will target every player except the healer and will deal pretty much average damage, although they are nothing special. Finally, there's the spirit bears. Spirit bears are relatively weak mobs with high HP, but they are crucial in the fight. When you kill enough mobs, a spirit bear will spawn and when you kill the spirit bear, it drops a spirit bow which you can use to deal damage to thorn. Yep, the only way to damage thorn is the bow dropped from the spirit bear. If you look around the arena, there is a line of black wool and sea lanterns, and every time you kill a mob, some of the black wool turns into sea lanterns. This is an indication of how close the bear is to spawning, and when the bear spawns, the row will be fully sea lanterns. It takes four spirit bow shots to defeat Thorn. My name's Menacing Banana, and this is the 360 aspect of the end shot. Fuck, he turned. <laughs> Thorn himself has no direct attacks except toxicity in chat. As the fight goes on, the summoned animals will spawn with more and more HP. The biggest threat throughout the entire fight is the spirit bats. They spawn in large groups and, although they can be killed, they will quickly respawn and it's better to focus your attention on the bulls as they are the hardest animals to kill and if you don't take care of them, they will fill the 100 enemy limit very fast. When Thorn is above 25% health, the bats will fly around and target any player who goes above the crowd. The bats deal massive damage and do not give you invincibility frames, meaning they can kill you in about 2 seconds. On Thorn's third hit, or at 25% health, the bats will begin to follow players regardless of hate, which means you have to keep moving as they tend to target players who are standing still. I died, I died, I died. you're the only person left. <laughs> he did it! Hey, what a legend! Uh, okay. Once you're in the arena, your main goal is obviously going to be staying alive and clearing out animals. The easiest weapon for this is a frozen size for a mage or a dreadlord sword, and a hyper cleaver for everyone else. The hyper cleaver at catacombs 17 and above is stronger than a gilded midas for dungeons, and the cleave effect will make light work of a lot of the enemies. You must also play to your strength, as your healer will be relatively free during the fight, as almost everything avoids targeting the healer, meaning it might be a good option for the healer to try to kill the spirit bears and keep everyone alive whilst everyone takes care of the animals. There are also four corners that can lit up green or orange at any time. If green, it will heal any player on the circle for a lot of health and is a good place to go if you're close to death as it is more effective than a healer's healing circle. If orange, it indicates fire. Fire is your friend. When on fire, mobs take 5% of their max HP as damage per second and is essential in taking out the spirit cows due to their insanely high health. Make sure your team can coordinate when one of the fires light up to quickly burn through every enemy. And the fire's damage also applies to the spirit bears if they happen to be in that general area. 
If you do happen to die, check the audience, as there are a few fairies that spawn as audience members that, as a ghost, you can punch to revive yourself without losing any extra score. And that's about it. Once you understand the mechanics of how everything actually works, the boss fight becomes relatively simple as long as you can work together and keep on top of the balls. Also, don't miss your bow shots, or you'll get bullied by both your teammates and the crowd. Pet menu. Um, pet. Okay. There we go. Alright, his name is Soko, and here's the shoot the guy shot. Oh, oh I saw that. It's fucking gas. Yeah.